What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I need to just learn to stop opening my mouth. Um, I'm out here in my shed again uh, working on this do-it-yourself automated garden watering system. Uh, we're in late July now um, and I'm about to go on vacation next week so I got to make sure that this thing is bulletproof before I go. And I got a comment on my last video from a, uh, a viewer or subscriber that talked about a voltage regulator or speed speed controller for a motor um, and recommended that as a way to keep this if you'll re if you've watched the series you know that that this uh, Harbor Freight um, water pump gets too hot <clears throat> as it as it operates um, for more than a few minutes just gets way too hot there's too much uh, back pressure um, because of the way that this system's designed. Um, so anyway, that was that, that's the problem and the, the, the easy solution was just to run it for five minutes um, a couple times a day. Um, and so that's what I did. But I, I was intrigued by this um, solution that was proposed and so I went ahead and pulled the trigger to try it and it actually works really, really well. So this is the device. And I have the case off of it because I'll tell you in a second. But this is the uh, the dial here that determines the the speed of the motor. Basically, it just uh, it's a potentiometer that that changes the um, the voltage to the to the motor, um, which controls the speed of the motor a little bit. And um, so we've got input and output wires back here. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, power in power out I mean it, it's there's nothing to it as far as wiring so I'm not even going to go over that um, I've got the case off because for whatever reason they must have assumed that you're going to use really really tiny wires but I have pretty big wires going in and out so I'm leaving the case off of it but it's indoors in my shed so that shouldn't be a problem so what I wanted to do was uh, first of all show you how it works but then also do a test and use the my handy dandy infrared thermometer to show you what the temperature of the the pump was after a couple minutes on the highest excuse me setting which is full voltage full basically the way it was before um, and then and then turn down the speed a little bit to where it's just enough to to operate the sprinklers uh, in the garden and then we'll we'll show you the temperature just so you can kind of see the effect okay so what this thing does you can hear that the pump is on and that's what it's like at full blast so if I come in here and adjust the knob hopefully you can still hear the the pump Now it's much quieter, and I apologize. I probably should set this on a on a tripod or something. But as you can see, the the water's not coming out as much, but it's still enough to to water the vegetables. And the pump is running at a lower RPM. It's not as loud, but it's still running enough to to do the job. So I could even turn it down a little bit more. So again, it's not as fine of a miss, but it's still enough to water the containers. and do the job. Okay, um, I will take the temperature. I'll try to take it on a place that's out of the sunlight just so that doesn't uh, affect anything. So it looks like about 140 degrees. So we'll go ahead and shut this off and wait wait for it to cool down a little while and then we'll come back and turn on turn it on at a lower speed okay it has been 
at least an hour and I checked and the uh, the motor has cooled off substantially so we're gonna go ahead and turn this back on and run it at a lower speed but just enough to continue being able to have a usable sprinkler system which it is that'll work okay this is all the way at the end of the line um, so I just wanted you to be able to see that we are I mean it's definitely not as um, great of a mist uh, or, or pressure as as when it's on full speed but it's still definitely good enough to be able to accomplish the goal of of watering the plants so it's been running for a couple minutes we'll go ahead and grab the thermometer and take a measurement it's actually been running for several minutes so I wanted to make sure that we got gave it as much time as possible to get up to full temperature So about 126 was the highest that I saw. So definitely um, definitely an improvement. And like I said, I, I let this run a couple, at least a minute or two longer than the other. So in conclusion, um, this isn't, I mean, and I could probably even turn it down slightly more. So this is a good reliability mod. Uh, if you're doing something like this, where you've got a, a, a pump on a timer or some sort of automated system and you wanna make sure that it's, uh, doesn't get too hot this is definitely something that you could do and i appreciate the comment um, you know you guys teach me stuff all the time and so i wanted to do a quick video and just show that um, you know this this is the kind of thing that uh, that helps me to learn and is a, a valuable suggestion and and works really well so anyway thanks again and thanks for watching Thank you to my viewers and subscribers for your support. If you liked what you've watched, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign at www.patreon.com slash LDS Reliance. All donations will be used to help create bigger, better videos for your viewing pleasure.